This is a magnetic levitation project that I built a few years ago. Uh, I've heard of other people building magnetic levitation uh, experiments and I, I really wanted to try one myself. Uh, the way it works is, uh, is pretty straightforward. Um, basically I've taken a magnet, uh, a small permanent magnet, and I've uh, affixed it to the top of this uh, very lightweight ping pong ball. Uh, and I have a, uh, another magnet, in this case an electromagnet, uh, up here. Now everything is, is turned off now, so it's not, uh, it's not doing anything. Um, but you can see if without any uh, electronics, uh, there's really no way to, to balance the, uh, to levitate the ping pong ball in midair. Uh, if I go too close to the top magnet, they're just gonna stick together. Uh, and if I go too far away, of course the, the ball is just going to fall. So there really is uh, no way to, uh, to levitate something without some, some active control. Uh, and that's really where the electromagnet comes in. Uh, rather than using a fixed magnet, uh, I uh, wound a bunch of uh, a wire around a, uh, around a bolt uh, and make an electromagnet. Uh, and depending on how much electricity I put through it, I can vary the intensity of that, that magnet. Uh, and the way I do that, you can see here I've got a, uh, a microcontroller. In this case, it's a, a PIC processor running at 20 megahertz. Uh, and that processor uh, is able to uh, send a command to the, uh, to the uh, electromagnet to, to vary the intensity. <clears throat> uh, but that's really only half the problem. Uh, certainly you need to vary the intensity, but to do that intelligently, you need to know where the ball is so you know how much or how little power to give to the magnet. The way I do that is with uh, an infrared transmitter and an infrared receiver. Uh, kind of similar to the, uh, uh, the light beam in your uh, remote control. Basically what I do is I send out a, uh, a beam of light, shine it down on the ping pong ball, uh, and then it reflects back up into the receiver. Uh, and that's actually why I used a ping pong ball, uh, because it's round or spherical, so that if the ball twists around, uh, it's still going to uh, reflect the light the same way. So basically if the ball is very close to uh, the magnet, it's gonna be a very intense beam of light that comes back. However, the further and further away that you move the ping pong ball, uh, the dimmer and dimmer the light is going to be. Uh, and that is actually fed back into the uh, microprocessor. So the microprocessor can constantly monitor how far away the ping pong ball is. Uh, and actually about 500 times a second, uh, it will uh, adjust the power in the magnet uh, accordingly. So let me turn it on and I can show you how it works. <clears throat> When I turn it on, you can hear there's a cooling fan, uh, uh, cooling fan that runs. It uh, really generates a lot of heat uh, in the power supply. But basically, it's fairly easy to get going. You just kind of have to give it a little, a little boost, and it should pop right up. There we go. And it's a little bit wobbly, so let me just smooth it out. But there, it's, uh, it is balancing. Um, it's uh, once you get it going, it's actually pretty. Uh, it's uh, fairly stable. Although I'm moving it around a little bit now, it's probably gonna, gonna fall. Let me uh, stabilize it a little bit. It's actually a really neat project. It was a, it was a lot of fun to do. It took me a long time to, uh, uh, to optimize the software to get it to, uh, uh, to be stable. I ended up uh, uh, chasing the ball around the room for uh, a lot of uh, late nights. But uh, once I got it going, it's, uh, it's really been working uh, pretty well. So it was, a, it was a fun project. I'm glad I worked on it.